Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is my Warrior Ritual G2 Pro knee pads. Now, these are now labeled as Ritual X knee pads and not X Pros. I'm pretty sure they're identical. I'm not positive, but these are for sale alongside them. They're both $100, and I've used these since I got my G2 pads, and so that was a... January of last year so about a year now and I'm pretty confident in my opinions on them I wasn't originally going to do a review of these because they weren't for retail as you can say see but now that they sell ones that are these I will comment on them so as you can see I made some modifications to them and that was adding more protection on this kneecap so like my Bauer was I found that the shell here isn't protective enough um and after a shot in a pretty good league where I felt my knee be unprotected, I decided to add. I went home, cut up a pair of player gloves, took the cuffs from those, and put it onto this, the shell for added protection. And since then, these have been pretty good. Um, the one, I actually feel the top of these is pretty good in terms of protection. I haven't had any issues with that. It was just this cap area. So... One thing about these pads compared to other ones is they have an interesting knee setup where, oh, wrong one, sorry. So it has this elastic behind the bottom portion and it holds this part in place. So your knee sits right in here. So this is the top of your knee. And this design is pretty good. I find it actually does keep this part of your knee locked into place. But from my experiences, is before, actually you can see with the sweat marks here, um, before I used to wear them like this, and I found that this didn't stay on your knee as well, but the whole mechanism themselves did. Now, when I put this down, like this, whenever I don't wear the garter and socks and tape, the minute I take that off, this part slides over top. So it basically ends up being like that, which, so yeah, I need something to hold them up is what I'm trying to get at. Now, the one thing I do have to say is this little leg wrap is one of the best I've seen in terms of knee guards. Um, this material is pretty thick and it's, it's soft enough that I haven't had any issues with. And you can see that they're a bit compressed and made smaller, especially where I land, which is always right there. Um, but it's done a great job in keeping my leg secure and actually being a soft landing spot. Now, I also think that since this part right here, I can feel how this part's the part worn out and not right there, or not right here, that this piece is where I land and right on the side. And that would also coincide with my statements of the Bauer ones where the pour on is right here, but you actually land on the corner. So I actually do, I think this bottom design is fantastic and Warrior did a really good job of these. Now, the top part I wish was a little bit thicker just for personal preferences, but again, Warrior did a decent job here. I actually really like how it has the double Velcro, which this one will show it better, where you have one on the side where everyone is and another one just for added uh, adjustment. So if this does get worn out or looser, then you can just make it tighter. Um, their old shoulder pads for player equipment had this. I think the newer ones do too. And it's a nice feature where you can get adjustments from the front and the back of the shoulder pads. Same with here, you can get it on both sides to make it as tight as you want. Now, my only gripe with these is, as you can see, was I don't think there's enough padding on the top part here, which is interesting because this part is thick enough. As you can see, this part, is significantly bigger than the top. I understand this because when you're actually going down, this is the part on the inside of your knee. So this part would get hit more, you'd think. But I take pucks off of here and it's not that pleasant. So as you can see the thickness, the differences in thicknesses, I really wish that translated all the way across and I wouldn't have had to add this here. Now, for $100, I'd think these are okay knee pads, but I can't really say purchase them. And the reason being, I always felt the original Supremes, Bauer Supremes, the yellow and black ones were better than these in terms of protection. They weren't as comfortable as these, which 
Again, these are one of the most comfortable knee pads I've ever worn, especially with this bottom piece. So good job, Warrior. And for 20 bucks more, you can get the X Pros. I think they're 119 and these are 99. I would spend the $20 more because this piece is thicker and you do get the yellow, I think it's called Silver Shield, but the yellow, it's like a odor resistant part on the top and it helps with sweat. It's just Warrior's like signature liner. So you, you get more for that 20 bucks than I think that this has. Um, I think if these were at $60 and maybe $70, I would recommend these more. But because I had to add that layer of protection, I can't. Um, I'm gonna be testing out Passau, which cost 129, I believe, Canadian. So if you're from America, like from the US, then, or anywhere that isn't Canada, 100 bucks for these, or 129, 100 bucks US for these, or 129 Canadian, you might as well get the Passaus. But these are, um, a uh, medium sized knee pad. They're not that bulky where the pastels are bigger. Besides that, these, these aren't bad knee pads. They're pretty good. Like I said, I was disappointed I had to add the padding and I kind of wish that they, the X pros were what were included in a pair of pads. That way you get the best pad you get and you don't have to buy more. But from a business standpoint, I understand it. Um, so I wouldn't recommend these exactly, but I'd say they're okay. If you get them for $60, it might be worth it. And if you play lower level hockey, otherwise I would add a piece of protection onto the top. So hopefully this review was helpful. There is a link in the description of the written review of this as long as well as pictures. And especially it shows like how they sit when you're down in the butterfly and how they look in your, between your pants and your pads just to see how this part like sits on the pad itself. Um, please like and subscribe on YouTube. It, please check out my Twitter, follow me there. Check out Instagram, follow me there. All that will help me get more equipment to do reviews on, and that way I can give my feedback on more things so you might not waste your money. But thank you for watching, and again, hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy.